This is Novdek 2003. A man bought N articles for X CDs each. He sold P of them for X plus 2 CDs each and the remainder for X plus 1 CDs each. Find its profit in terms of P and N. And the second one, if N is 800,000, P is 640,000, and X is 50, we should express his profit as a percentage of the cost. Now, the first one is saying that we should find a profit. We know profit. What is profit? Profit is selling price minus cost price, or total selling price minus the total cost price. Now, from the question, what do we know from the question? The question, we were being informed that a man bought N articles for X cities. So, number of articles. Clearly, number of articles bought, that is N. And then we are being told that unit cost Unit cost is X. Therefore, total cost price. Number of articles bought is N. Unit cost is X. Therefore, the total cost price will be what? N times X. So that is N X. That is our total cost price. Now, we were also told that he sold, we were told that he sold P of them for X plus two cities. Similarly, similarly, now our total selling price, using the same principle. Now, we are going to dissolve P of them for X plus two. So the unit cost was x plus 2. The unit selling price is x by 2. Now the number of um, items that was sold was p. So you're going to get p x plus 2. Plus, and then we are going to the remainder for x plus 1. Now the total articles were n. p has been sold. What do you think will be the remainder? The remainder will be what? n minus p. If I have then articles, and then I have sold three of them. How many is remaining? Seven. How did I get the seven? That is 10 minus the three that I sold. So clearly here we'll get N minus P. That will be the remaining. So that is X plus one. Now let's expand this. We are going to get PX plus two P plus N X plus one minus P X plus one. Now, this will give us Px plus 2p plus nx plus n minus Px minus p. Now, let's group them. We have Px minus Px. Now, this Px and then that Px. We have 2p minus p and then plus nx plus n. Clearly, this and this is cancelling out. So what do you have? 2p minus p, that is p, plus nx plus n. That is our selling price. Now, so the first one, profit. We know profit, that is selling price, minus cost price. Now, what is the selling price? The selling price, this is the selling price, p plus nx plus n minus the cost price. What is the cost price? The cost price is nx, so minus nx. Clearly, we have p plus nx plus n minus nx. Clearly, this and that is canceling, so our profit is p plus n. The first question says we should express the profit in terms of the p and an N, and easily we have been able to do that. Now let's see the second question. <clears throat> II, the II is saying that if N is 800,000, 
and then our P is 640,000 and then our X is 50. We should express the profit as a percentage of the cost. So profit as a percentage of the cost. That is going to be profit over the cost price times 100%. Now what was the profit? That was P plus N. What was the cost price? That was NX times 100%. Now, we know we are going to get 800. What is our P? Our P is 640,000. What is our N? 800,000. All over NX. What is N? 800. Thousand times the x. What is the x? X is 50 times 100 percent. Clearly, when we add the numerator, we get 1, 4, 4, 0. We have 0. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4. All over, this is going to be that is um, 8 times 5, that is 40. 8, 5, that is 40. And then how many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, okay, then times 100%. Now, when you cancel out, we are going to get 3.6 so this two zeros will cancel this two zeros this three zeros will cancel one two three three zeros will cancel that and when you do that when you cancel out you are going to get 3.6 percent i believe this is very easy this is very trivial play back go through understand and then try and see if you can solve the questions yourself don't forget to subscribe so that any new video you upload, you'll be able to get it.